Good morning. My name is Isaac Moore, and I'm a recreation specialist with Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation Department. I want to thank you for participating in our virtual program. Please make sure that you hit subscribe on our Mecklenburg County YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Mech Park Rec for more updates and new programs. Today, as we approach February, I want to celebrate with a Black History program that will accomplish a few objectives. First, I want to introduce you to a Black History icon in the community, and second, I want to explain the correlation of this local Black History legend to one of our current recreation facilities. To celebrate Black History Month, I want to introduce you to a man that took philanthropy to a whole new level. He was a generous giver of his time, experience, knowledge, skills, and talents to help create and empower people to better themselves. The man that I'm referring to and the name of this presentation is David Benjamin Weimer Sr., past, present, and future. Mr. Weimer was born in 1932 in a small town in South Carolina called Ellery. His parents were Robert and Mamie Collier Weimer. He was the middle child of nine siblings all who attended and graduated from college. He attended South Carolina State University in Orangeburg, South Carolina and graduated in 1955 with a degree in agriculture. He also pursued additional studies at North Carolina State University in Raleigh. It was in college where he met his future wife, Barbara. The two dated for a few years and married in 1958. The marriage lasted 25 years and they had three children. David Jr. of Los Angeles, the oldest who was deceased, but played 15 years of professional football for New Orleans, San Francisco, and Oakland. Ralph, the middle child, works in pharmaceuticals and lives in Washington, D.C. And Gerald, the youngest, works in security and resides in Stone Mountain, Georgia. They have five grandchildren and a host of nieces and nephews. After college, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army and served in the Army Reserve. He was employed with the Agricultural Extension Service and Community Development as an extension agent for more than 30 years. Prior to coming to Charlotte, he worked as an extension agent for Chesterfield, South Carolina and Goldsboro, North Carolina. The extension program was aimed at helping farmers and their families in small towns, however, because Charlotte Mecklenburg was an urban area, the emphasis switched to helping urban communities. He dedicated his life to helping improve the lives of mostly African Americans by creating what was called at the time community development clubs in the surrounding towns of Smithville, which is now Cornelius, Pottstown, which is now Huntersville, Greer Heights, Hampton Park, Sterling, which is now Pineville, Crestdale, Matthews, and Mint Hill, as well as other communities in Charlotte. These clubs gave the tools to be homeowners as well as taught them the necessary skills to be self-sufficient. He developed energy efficient programs, beautification programs, 4-H clubs, community gardens, and provided an annual banquet so communities could be recognized for their work. He won several local, state, and national awards for his service. He also served as a deacon at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church and did extensive volunteer work in the community such as coaching and mentoring young men and women through sports and other civic organizations. He was a charter member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity which provided scholarship, leadership, development, and community service. He continued this type of outstanding community service until his untimely death in 1986 at the age of 55. The historic center which carries his name was dedicated in June of 1988. At the time, one of the more popular programs which involved the whole community was the Spring Festival, which took place using the center as well as the adjacent park next door to the facility. This huge multi-day event was well attended and it had a plethora of games, parades, tournaments, speakers, inflatables, music, fashion shows, and much, much more. It was co-sponsored by the Huntersville Community Development Association. In spite of COVID-19 crisis, the 60-year-old building, which was a part of the Torrance Lytle School, which was the first public school for African Americans in Northern Mecklenburg County, has been renovated from top to bottom. Everything from mechanical, plumbing, electrical, roofing, and windows have been replaced. The present facility has a large inviting lobby, reading area, and is equipped with a stage, full-size gymnasium with hardwood maple flooring with the Torrance Lyle School Trojan mascot as the centerpiece at midcourt. It also has two huge multi-purpose rooms and a full-size warming kitchen. 
From an operational standpoint, the facility which management and staff are excited about serving the citizens of Mecklenburg County with a variety of programs and activities. We are dedicated in keeping the Park and Recreation Statement, which is to enhance community wellness through recreation, open spaces, and natural resources. For a full list of ongoing virtual programs and activity, please visit our website at parkandrec.com or if you're interested in contacting the facility about specific programs, you can send an email to David B. Weimer Recreation Center at MecklenburgCountyNC.gov. I hope that you can get a glimpse of the impact that David B. Weimer had on uplifting communities in and around Charlotte, Mecklenburg area. I would also like to thank Ms. Barbara Weimer for her contribution to this program and for allowing us to get a brief glimpse into the life and legacy of our great husband. Thank you again for your time and remember to recreate all year.